Good day and welcome to Excellent Great Ditch National School's press desk. We are now in the second term of the 2022-2023 academic session. I am Habib Mohammed Ahubakar. And I am Usman Onide Amir. Let's quickly go through the education news update for 9th January. Let's begin with the punch. Rowan Oyedele opposed ASU's 10% education tax. Tax experts have faulted the Academic Staff Union of Universities proposed increase in the tertiary education tax from 3% to 10% tax. According to them, towing this part would hurt private firms which were already overburdened with taxes. The ASU president, Professor Emmanuel Osedeke, recently proposed an increase in the education tax from 3 to 10 percent to fund infrastructure in Nigeria's universities. Also with the punch, Columbia University named Hillary Clinton professor. Former First Lady of the United States and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has been appointed a Professor of Practice at Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs. Also in the punch, imagine law school's best graduate with 10 prizes thrilling, Dada. Omotayo Dada, 23, a graduate of the University of Ilorin, made first class honors at the Nigerian Law School and emerged the overall best graduating student in 2022. She speaks to Temi Tope Adetunji about all her about all her stellar achievements. You graduated as the overall best student in the 2020 bar final examinations at the Nigerian Law School. How do you feel about this achievement, she asked. Also on the punch, tuition hike. NANS seeks Buhari's fatherly intervention. Still on the punch, NGO advises government on EduTech. Global director of BBYDL, Abidine Olasupo, who made the call on Thursday at the unveiling of the issue brief fact sheet and re research title Harnessing Education Technology in Africa, Scoping Study, stressed the need to embrace the future of education and use it to create brighter, more equip equipable world for all. Still on the punch, make valuable plans for teachers, educators, tell government. The Guardian, Don prefers strategies to tackle malaria parasites. Nuba, who stated this at the University of Medical Sciences, UNI Med, on those states, noted that defeating malaria parasites is not a myriad, adding that success might be attained with consistent work by scientists and researchers. Daily Post, nobody can promise there will be no strike in 2023, ex ASU president. A former president of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, Professor Bayadun Ogunyemi, has revealed that a first strike by lecturers of public universities of the, in the country cannot be ruled out in 2023. Ogunyemi disclosed this on Saturday while featuring on Channel TV's 2022 in pro, pro, retrospect and end of year special program. Still on the punch, tribunal. Government stakeholders urged to invest in education technology. Speaking during unveiling of fact sheet and research titled Harnessing Education Technology in Africa, Scoping Study, a group of young Nigerians with concerns for educational advancement under the ages of Brain Builders Youth Development Initiative, BBYDI, said that education tech allows for use of innovative tools and techniques that can enhance learning experience and improve students' outcomes. BBC, Nigerian schools flogged for speaking my mother tongue. Nigeria says it wants primary school teachers to conduct lessons in local languages instead of English, which is currently used. But how practical is that in a country where more than 600 different tongues are spoken? Karim Abiodun Habibullah, whose mother tongue is Yoruba, was just a secondary school student when he was whipped in class for not speaking English. That's the education news update for 9th January 2023. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a good day.